Hi everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Deep Sea Destroyer. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a quick sketch. Trying to come up with a good pose for this little diver. And I also kind of want to make it like uh, like it's floating in water, right? Something cool. Let's see, here's this pack. How about he has a knee up? And I know you can't see this sketch, this is mostly for me. Um, just to make sure I get everything where I need it. And then uh, I'll switch over to Sharpie in a second and you'll be able to see much better. Um, but yeah, this is mostly so I make sure that I get everything right. Um, let's see. Oh, I guess I need to do his other arm, huh? Let's see. And I gotta think of some good hand poses, too. Um, you'll see in a second what I'm gonna do. And again, I'm trying to come up with something a little more fun than just, uh, Uh, just a regular pose because you get the normal poses in the pictures and the Fortnite stuff I'm trying to come up with something a little bit more fun for you And to make sure I don't forget stuff because uh, I do a lot Okay, there's a rope right there Then a rope that goes down, but we're gonna make it floating out a little bit Like that This little Coily breather. This comes down. Okay, I think I might have enough to get us started. Or so so we can all get started. I've obviously already got started. Um, and you can switch over. Or I mean, you can get started with me. I'm going to switch over to Sharpie. And uh, uh, let's bring this one down a little bit more. That way it's not hidden so much. Let's bring this one down like this. Let's extend that leg way out. Okay, I think that works. So I'm going to switch over to some Sharpie so you can see much better. I have a Sharpie pen and a Sharpie fine point. I'm going to be switching back and forth between the two because there's a lot of fine detail in here that I don't want to miss that this Sharpie fine point is too big for. So first of all, let's just start with his uh, his window here. Just basically just draw a big circle like that. And if you can, draw another one inside of it like that. And it's okay if it's not perfect. We're just drawing uh, uh, the, the, the details we can. And he's got uh, a couple more windows on the sides here. So let's go ahead and draw an oval over here. And then almost like box it with lines, straight lines, and then we're going to draw a curve around it like that. And that'll take care of that window. So let's draw this one over here. This one let's make sideways. That way it's, it's see how this one's kind of like this? This one's going to be completely sideways. So basically just draw a box. That's all you got to do for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's draw a circle up here for his other little, little uh, like light window thing. And I'll add detail to that in a second. I just want to basically place it. And he's got a couple more knobs up here, like that. A couple more up here, and now I can draw the top half of his dome. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this around like that, then bring the other one around this way, and just kind of try to fall inside those. If you don't, no big deal, okay? And I, I, I touched them, and if you don't touch, it's okay. You just connect it somehow, or you erase and make it work the way you want okay so there's a knob in the back like that and now I need to draw the stuff that's in front because I want to bring this down but there's stuff in front of it so we gotta make sure we we uh, uh, get the stuff that's hanging in front so let's draw this hose like this okay and there's a, a circular thing that goes around like a shell uh, connecting to this other hose that's going around his side here. And because I have this rope off to the side, I can go ahead and just reconnect this. So I'm going to do like that. 
and draw the rest of it here and it's going to go in kind of a spiral so I'm going to do like this and then I'm going to spiral it in like that and it kind of you know goes around that way and now this stuff is in front so I could draw the rest of his helmet here so I'm going to draw the lines going across where it uh, connects like that and there's two of them like this and so now I can draw the lines down to it okay and uh, let's see so now let's try to figure out what's in front um, let's draw his uh, belt or his waist to his arms like that and uh, but yeah let's go ahead and connect his his uh, it's, it's a belt but it's actually weights that's what keeps divers down is a uh, a big weighted belt so we're gonna draw a big shape like this and then we'll add some detail in a second here let's go ahead and do this that way you'll know where we're gonna be adding stuff you know what let's just draw it while we're here I don't know why I keep saying we'll do it in a second let's do it right now let's just add a little bit of detail to his uh, detailed uh, weight pack basically is what it is and I'm just kind of following the picture so uh, you're welcome to follow with me or just kind of make it up yourself. It's kind of uh, not too hard, but I don't want to confuse you. Okay, and there's the details of his belt. And there are more straps that are holding everything together, so I'm going to draw a line down like this. And now I can connect with a uh, like a loop, um, a uh, circular ring I guess <laughs> one way I could describe it um, and so he's got a connector here and there like I said there's a rope here that's in front of everything so let's go ahead and do that there's a, a loop that is connected to there I'm gonna draw the ends of the rope because it kind of nooses around like that and then this goes through and over and connects like that okay and so I'm going to keep it floating uh, because we're underwater. So the rope that hangs, I'm just going to kind of flow it up like this. Okay. Do another line around it. And connect it here like that. And go ahead and connect it to his side because it goes back behind him. And now I can draw these other parts. And this comes down like that. Like that does. Okay. And if you see a place where it's not connected, you can connect it like that. Okay, so he has, um, the, the helmet has a little uh, connector here onto his suit. So I'm just going to kind of do some lines like this. And they're back behind there. So I'm just going to kind of do like that. And that'll uh, connect his, his helmet. Okay, I'm going to add little knobs to where it connects right there. And there's more connected but I also have his hands up so uh, that's kind of hiding a few things too right so this hand is in the front so I'm gonna go ahead and draw it first and it's kind of coming out at you like that so I'm gonna go ahead and draw the thumb like that and then draw the fingers I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna draw the fingers like that and because it's in a glove that's kind of why I'm doing it like this and so now I'm going to kind of extend them out and then like that and a little, little shaky, a little watery, you know, but he's underwater. So it's okay with me. You can do it like that. And uh, I'm going to draw his little bracket that he has on here. And he has a lot of folds in his arms. So I'm just gonna, still just going to keep doing more like this to kind of show the, the creases and bumps and then draw this one like that and that'll be his hand sticking out so pretty easy pretty quick uh, we're not going to worry too much about uh, the detail because that conveys the message of what it is okay so now we're going to do this shoulder here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw his shoulder to his arm like that and then I'm going to stop there because there's like this seaweed looking thing that I'm going to uh, draw as well so again he's got a lot of creases in his material so I'm just kind of drawing stuff like this okay and that'll take care of uh, 
the bends in his arm. So the bends, that's funny. The bends is something you get from underwater as well from moving too fast. So it's kind of funny that uh, I use that. Okay, I'm going to draw this like seaweed that's wrapping around him like that. And then I can draw his uh, little forearm wrist communicator thing, which is a box basically into his hand. In his hand, I'm just going to kind of draw like this. Let's follow along with me. We're going to do the back of the hand, the finger like that. And I'm going to bring it down into the thumb like this. Okay, and the other fingers are kind of bent in and underneath that so you can kind of hide uh, having to draw more detail. Okay, and there's the side of the hand. It's basically like this, but the glove is so big and and bulky that you can hide a lot of stuff. So let's do the rest of them. And he's got one knee up and the other one straight down. So I'm gonna kind of draw some something like this. Okay. And the creases in his leg from his pants being stretched from being uh, bent over like that. Uh, we can kind of get away with a few things like that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the folds of his leg in like this. Bring this one out like that. And again, he's got some seaweed going across, so I'm going to basically do, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and finish this off and I'll show you some seaweed techniques. Basically, it's like this rippled, uh, jaggedy looking thing that we can pretty much do like that. Do the same thing over. And it wraps around so we kind of get away with hiding a few things. Okay. And let's see, let's, let's bring it like this. Oops, should be more of a point. And that's the seaweed, okay? So now, uh, let's just go ahead and continue his, his uh, big big boot, which he's got um, not a lot of detail, well, not a lot of shape to, because it's just a big, massive underwater weight is basically what it is. And there's big buckles that strap it together like that. So we'll just draw that that way. And then the, the shoe, again, is just a, basically going to be a big something like that, because... The weight is what keeps it in, or keeps him down, and he's got big straps that are holding it together as well that we can just do like that. Super simple, super easy. Now to take care of that foot, so let's do this one. And since it's bent, there's not too much we gotta do. We just gotta do this, basically. We're gonna do the back of that one, and we'll kinda draw some crease in the pants there. And so now we're gonna do his other boot, which is, it's more, down like this because see how this is straight at you this is more down because it's like that you can't really see as much so we're gonna get away with doing something like this and that'll be the top of the boot so now we just got to draw like that the top of the boot big and bulky like that and the top of the uh, straps is we'll do just like that connect it and again we'll do some some uh, just like that, like a big, he's got uh, treads, but it's just so big and bulky that it's hard to even see. So let me do a few more little tiny details with a sharper pen, and we're gonna draw something like that. And a couple of dots of rivets that are holding it together. And, uh, I'm going to do another one inside here. Basically, I'm going to add like the little light technique thing that it has. I'm just kind of doing like that. And uh, let's, let's connect it with one more line around it like that. Super thin, right around, connect it that way. And there's some inside here, but we're not going to worry too much about that. We're basically just going to draw some a little hex pattern like that. And uh, that is Deep Sea Destroyer. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.